Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia, paranoia, and the whole shebang. Schizophrenia, paranoia, and the whole shebang. But before we get to the whole shebang, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And I've been around a few preludes in my ears, and this one is particularly luxurious. Kind of like a uh, Chevy Malibu. Of course. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. I did it, I pulled the old Where switch the bird. bird. No bird. No that's bird. right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. Just a book. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. The essential schizophrenia. A licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. Companion. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Companion. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. I don't mind the gray fleck. Truly. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. I don't mind the gray fleck, but soon it won't be fleck, I assure. And that'll be fine by me. Paranoia is a complex cognitive process that results in an emotion, I assure you. There's like three or four pieces to the puzzle, the cognitive puzzle that creates paranoia. Um, and the first one I want to say is a global belief, because when you're paranoid, you think that humanity is out to get you. So that's a global belief. You think people are out to get you. It's not true. But that global belief will be present in paranoia. And then there are two cognitive distortions that are primary. The first one is called uh, overgeneralization, where you overgeneralize specific uh, experiences to the whole. In other words, you get triggered by uh, an event, perhaps a singular interpersonal event, and then you generalize it to the whole and you become paranoid in a global sense. The other cognitive distortion is called selective abstraction, which again means you take one instance and apply it to the whole. So paranoia is a complex cognitive process. It has some global beliefs involved and also cognitive distortions. So if you suffer from, schiz uh, suffer from paranoia, those are the ingredients that you got to deconstruct. There's some global beliefs going on and there's some cognitive distortions going on. And once you clear those up, then the emotion will go away. That's a little ditty on paranoia. I forgot to uh, show you, oh, I dropped the book. All right, I forgot to show you the namesake here. It's, uh, there's Mike the bird. He flies in the sun, that's what he does. My second book is The Essential Schizophrenia Companion. The Companion. All right, guys. Remember, um, paranoia is uh, a combination of cognitive processes, and if you deconstruct the cognitive de processes, the paranoia will diminish. I assure, and together, we'll conquer schizophrenia. Okay, guys, thank you. We'll see you next time.